Hello, this is Michael, Michael Ratcliffe, and the last blog we made a self-learning EC Dorsa, which learns the system settings, so that means it's plug and play. Chuck some estimated values in there, you plug it in, and it'll keep the hydroponic system at an EC set point that you've set, which is great, it's a good start, there's nothing like that that you can buy at the moment, so it's a great um, jump on current technology. But we could take it one step further because although many people treat the nutrient strength as a static um, value, I don't know, so you're going lettuce, you'll want an EC of 1. But actually it changes with the plant maturity, the sunlight intensity and other variables. Now we could use feed forward systems that's we model the system really well like we take a reading of the sunlight intensity and change the EC set point based on that which in theory is good and it's really easy to implement but I think bigger gains will come if we treat it as a feedback system so we take a measurement of the EC after a period of time and we use the change in EC to determine a perfect set point so the last system that we made dose is on the hour every hour so if you let, let's keep things basic let's say we set an EC set point of one for lettuce we dose it at this time and the EC is one and after an hour we take another reading before we dose and if the EC set point has dropped that means the yeast uh, the nutrient strength can be increased from one up to I don't know say 1.1 if it's actually more the EC set point should decrease so what we're after is a lint we want the plant to use as much what the same amount of water as it has nutrients for the perfect balance so that means the EC set point after we've dosed and an hour later should be the same so it should be one and one if the EC set point is one so what this code below does is optimizes the EC set point for that particular system which should increase growing potential quite considerably compared to a static EC set point um, at the moment it's just a proof of concept I've not had time to test it I'll be testing it in early 2016 uh, because I'm going to perform a scientific test so I need three or four identical systems to compare with and I've not got the greenhouse space to do that, so I'm going to have to do it outside mid-summer for 2016. Uh, so you can use this code if you want to experiment with a cheap crop like lettuce, but if you're using a high-value crop like chilies, I wouldn't trust it at the moment until I've tested it properly. Use the last code from the last blog uh, where we put a static EC set point and you'll get good results. Um, I've got high hopes for this technique. It, in theory it should work but it'll be early next year by the time we find out if theory and practice are the same anyway keep watching my other vlogs thanks for watching